welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to be doing a quick review on the body shop shade adjust adjusting drops I can't say that one but I got the dark one and the lightening one and you guys have been asking so many times for me to try these out because you guys know I have a ton of darker foundations and I have a few lighter one actually so what I'm gonna do is I'm good for each one I'm going to take a dark foundation for example for the lightening one and I'm going to do one half of my face with the normal foundation and then the other half um, just use it while well, using the foundation and the adjusting drops adjusting drops and we'll see uh, the difference and if it actually works um, I've also heard Kshar Beauty say that you can use this um, for contouring and I'll try that as well she's literally on all the the fronts of the body shops in the high streets and you can see like her poster and saying that uh, you can actually contour with this so we'll try that in this video anyways if you're happy to see this video give it a thumbs up also leave me in the comments what you would like to see next and yeah we'll just jump straight into this video so the first dark foundation that i'm going to use is the estee lauder double wear all day glow in the shade 5 now this is super dark for me so we'll hopefully we'll see like the difference so i'm gonna first apply it on one half of my face you can probably see that's really really dark this is super 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 dark actually so the dropper itself comes like this it's super tiny like it's very very small like it fits in the palm of my hand and the dropper comes like in a little droppy thingy like this it kind of looks a bit pinky to be honest Now I've heard that the dropper itself isn't that great but I don't really mind, as long as the product itself works I'm not too fussed about packaging but the packaging is super cute. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the foundation in my hand, like that. then I'm going to probably put like one full drop in there. So right now I'm mixing it. So now that looks much more like my colour. The good thing about it is this is that it actually mixes in pretty real well. And the product itself feels super hydrating and it smells so nice as well. So that, that des definitely looks more like my colour. So let's try this. And the weird thing is I've always like wanted to try that foundation because it's like a glowy one. But now I can because look at that. What? Dark side? My skin side. So this is, I feel like this is a better way to show you. So this is like the side where it's like normal, like with the shade adjusting drops. Like I think that's definitely my skin colour. But then this is the side where it's super dark. That's the foundation alone. And looking from the front, like from face, it doesn't really seem like a big difference. But when you go like this and then like this, you can definitely see a difference. So yeah, I don't know what else I can like say. I just think it works. Just like straight from trying this out and this is the first time i'm trying this and it works really 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 good in my opinion like you can definitely tell a difference like i will use this on a daily because it actually works and it doesn't feel drying it doesn't feel like it changes the formula like it, it doesn't dry me out or look funny or look patchy or anything it just sits really really well on the skin it doesn't affect the product at all i feel like it just change changes the shade which is what it's supposed to do so i absolutely love this at the moment <laughs> so now on to the darkening one so for the darkening one i'm going to use the dual skin forever foundation which is actually my mum's but i told her this shade was too light for her but she still got it anyways and didn't listen to me so we're going to try and darken it it's super light so i'm excited to see if this one's gonna work how can my mum my mum's a bit darker than me how did she ever think that this is her this was her shade so now i'm coming up close this is for you guys to see how i'm mixing it so this is the foundation and now i'm just gonna add like a half a drop like not too much 
So I'm just going to do that and see how this is going to mix. Okay, I don't feel like that did anything. I'm going to add a bit more. So that's what it looks like. It does actually look a bit dark right now, very dark actually. So that's what I feel like is my shade. I feel like I just need a bit of practice like with mixing it. It still looks very like cool tone, like very cool tone. Like I, I don't know if this is going to suit me, but we'll see. Yeah, that's definitely not my colour. It looks really dark, I don't know. So I actually took that off and I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix Fluid because I feel like when I was mixing the darkening one it was actually looking very like greyish and I'm not too fond of that on my skin. So I'm going to give it another go and I'm going to try a more yellowy tone and this is a bit light for me. I'm normally an NC45 but this is NC40 so I'm going to just put it all over on one side. Okay, so that's one side. It does look a bit light right now. So I'm just putting a bit more foundation on there. I'm gonna add like a little tiny droplet. Just mix that in. See, it's making, it's making the foundation look a bit like browner. It's like taking the yellowness away from it. So, this was a little bit and I took the rest and mixed it in here and I don't know if you can tell but this one looks a bit more browner. This looks a bit browner than this. So as you can see I'm trying to put as t the tiniest amount possible. So I'm just going to mix that in with this. Like to me it's not really darkening it, it's just making it look a bit greyer. I don't know, I'm not too sure about the darkening one, but let's try this on my skin. It's really hard because I don't really have a really light foundation, but to me it's not making... I feel like it's not that good with the darkening one because it makes it look quite cool tone and I feel like doesn't really darken it but just changes it the colour a lot and I don't really like that but I don't know what to think about this one I just feel like I need to play around with it a bit more I did try to add the tiniest amount I did try with like two foundations and I, out of both of them I still don't kind of like it so I'm still going to try and contour it with it so I've taken a little bit on the brush Okay, so for contouring, I am definitely liking it. Okay, so I definitely like that for contouring. So it's actually really nice. It's very natural and easy, easy, easy to blend. So I'm actually happy with that side of it. So if I'm trying this for the first time, I actually prefer the lightening ones compared to the darkening ones. The lightening one, I feel like I see myself using it a lot because I have a lot of darker foundations. But the darkening one is actually... I don't like the way it changes the colour of my foundation, it makes it look a bit more browner and cooler toned and I don't really like that to be honest but definitely I love this for contouring and I see myself using this a lot more for contouring because I actually really like the finish of it and again these smells, these smell super super nice and they're super like dewy like I feel like. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I mean, overall, I'm actually happy that I have these. These would be great to have in your kit if you're a makeup artist and that you, and you do freelance. If I would ever want to build like a makeup kit, I would definitely have these in my kit because it will always, always come in handy. And they're actually really good quality, I feel like. The only thing is I don't like how the darkening, change, the darkening one changes my foundation. If you have cooler skin, like cooler toned skin, more pinky tones, not even pinky tones, like a cooler toned brown skin, I would say maybe the darkening one would be best for that, maybe I'm using it wrong, but I did try with two foundations and I still feel like it doesn't work 
like I want it to and it says on the back that it's good for sensitive skin so that's another plus side to it so if you again if you're a makeup artist this will be good for like any skin type I would say and yeah I think that's all I have to say I hope I haven't missed anything out if you have any questions about these ask me in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them but I would definitely give these an 8 out of 10 because they're super super good like and the price I got these for 15 pounds because there was an offer on the body shop website um, but they're normally £10 each and the price point is amazing so actually I would actually give this a 9 out of 10 because I just feel it's everything's good about it apart from the way it changes the foundation colour for the darkening one and that's it. So yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos and let me know what you would like to see next and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a haul video for you guys. I haven't done a haul